Hi everyone. You'd laugh if you saw my video camera. I had to put a uh, a glove on the back end, but to keep the battery warm, it's kind of chilly out. <laughs> it's like 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now, but I wanted to make this video and uh, oh, uh, thank you so much for watching and being faithful watching my videos. I've got this warm hat and coat on. I feel fine. I'm used to I'm used to these cooler temperatures. Actually, I'm kind of spleeny when it comes to the cold. Believe it or not, <laughs> I have to be warm when I go outside. But you know, I felt I needed to make this video to clarify um, the video that I put out a few weeks ago concerning the uh, the the red sleigh, the vision. You you know that that uh, dream that I had and then the only vision that I ever had in my life was when uh, the angel appeared and said it won't be long now anyway you folks know I'm getting a lot of action with birds around here <laughs> I've got some crows and ravens or whatever but they're making nice sound effects aren't they <laughs> anyways uh, I wanted to title this message, No Man Knoweth the Day Nor the Hour. You know, it's sad that I should have to make this video, but I uh, I felt I needed to, to clarify. I, I received quite the comments. Uh, one person said they despise anyone that gives a date when Jesus is coming. I never once put out any certain date or time when Jesus will come. I was only sharing what um, what a very very vivid dream and and the only vision that I ever had it's just that it was a red sleigh well that could that could uh, that could mean sometime through the winter but it's not a day or, or an hour and we don't know if it's this winter or not I don't know I don't know when Jesus is coming, but one thing is for sure, we have got to be in the season of Jesus' return. We've got to be, because of the prophecy and the things that are going on. But I just, it's sad that I need to explain these things, but I felt I needed to clarify uh, because of all of these, uh, uh, these few, well I say all of these, because of these uh, some of these comments that I received, I and it's from people that never watch my videos anyway. You folks that watch my videos all the time and you're my, my steady, uh, faithful listeners, I appreciate you all so much. I appreciate everybody. And I do love everybody so much. And that's why I felt I needed to clarify this. Um, if they went, if they went and actually listened and watched my video, they would, they would know that I, I didn't certainly didn't say any day or, or hour, and uh, it could be, it could be sometime this, this Christmas season. Then again, it could be another Christmas season. Who knows? It, or I don't know. Only the Lord, only God, the Father knows when Jesus is coming. Even Jesus doesn't know. So how would I know? Anyway. Um, and uh, uh, oh, the some of the comments I tell you, like uh, they felt that I, someone felt that I should be called out on it if Jesus doesn't happen to come over the Christmas season. Well, I never said that he was going to come. You know, I just said it was a possibility. You know, uh, it just seems like uh, some folks. Uh, it seems like the only scripture in the Bible they know is that one, that scripture. No man knoweth the day nor the hour. I couldn't agree with them more. Nobody knows. Even Jesus doesn't know. How is anyone else going to know? I have, uh, I have listened and heard other people that have given a time and a day when Jesus would come. Uh, and you know what I think of that? I love those people. And uh, I, I, I know that they don't know the time, but the way I look at it is at least they're looking for Jesus' return, and I'm so thankful that they are. The reason why they give out a date is because they're very, very anxious. No, they shouldn't put out a date or a time, but they're very anxious for Jesus' return. I love them, 
and I love them just the same and I, there's no way that I would go and make a comment on their video and be critical of them because I put it this way it's far better that they are looking for Jesus return than another woman maybe do I need to be clearer than that you know uh, you know we're all anxious for Jesus return we really are and I know I am I can't wait for the Lord to come but I I had to it's it's too bad but I had to clarify that and you, you my faithful listeners you understand completely and you know you know that I've never I've never given a time or a day but I did want to I did want to say this one make this one statement and this can be on record I don't know the day but I do know the hour now if I could just have a drum roll right here if I could if I if I had the sound effects I'd use it I really would I'll do it with my mouth Jesus he's he's coming in an hour that you think not <laughs> <laughs> you know I got to be foolish. You know that. <laughs> He's coming in an hour. In an uh, actually, it goes like this: in an hour that you think not, the Son of Man cometh. That's found in Matthew twenty-four, verse forty-four. In an hour that you think not. <laughs> I hope I got a lot of you folks laughing. I I don't want to. I don't want to be too serious here, and I love everybody, I really do, but I had to, I had to clarify this, because uh, it's very important, you know, but I know, I know for sure that there's no doubt in my mind that Jesus' return has to be near, it has to be, because, uh, because of like what I shared in that video, that all of the things that are happening around the world, um, that it's not told about uh, that's as far as I can say that's as mo the most that I can say um, it's not it's not common knowledge like it should be uh, you have to find out through backdoor means uh, you know if you're informed at all you know what I'm talking about but anyway Jesus is he's coming in an hour that you think not <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I have to say I don't mind being foolish. It's just by nature. <laughs> Anyone that knows me, they they know what I'm what I'm like. But anyway, I, anyway, I, th I I believe I made myself very clear. But I had to title what I what I the way I titled it because that's probably the only thing that some people are gonna look at. You know, unfortunately. But anyways, uh, <laughs> it, did I say that, did I mention it was 10 degrees today? <laughs> I hope you don't see my air coming out of my mouth here. <laughs> it's, it's almost cold enough so that you can, you can see the air coming out of my mouth here. Sometimes it does get cold enough when I talk. It's like you wouldn't see me because it would be fog. <laughs> I'm just having a good time, folks. It is a beautiful day. Nice and sunny. And uh, I don't know if you noticed that there's no snow. It's all gone. You know, I, I shared something silly on my Facebook the other week. We don't have to dream of a... Or dreaming of a white Christmas around here is totally a waste of time. It's unnecessary, but you know, maybe this year, <laughs> maybe it's a reality because there is there isn't any snow in the woods. There's a little bit of snow if you you know if you go around in the country. There's a little bit of snow. The birds like it, obviously. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, I know, I know you're all anxious as I am for Jesus' return, and uh, he's coming, he's, he's coming, and uh, 
Oh, it will be wonderful. All of these things that in this world, everything is going to be soon forgotten when we're on the other side. Everything, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. But we just have to endure until then. Uh, we have to endure. But I'm going to endure and continue to encourage you folks. And I, I don't never like to put out anything negative or anything like that. This world needs love and encouragement. It doesn't need ridicule and it doesn't need people uh, going around uh, trying to make it hard for other people. You know, I went to some of these people, I went to their wall. I'm, I'm trying not to be critical here, <laughs> but I've gone to their, their wall on YouTube and uh, sadly, there's not a single thing referring to anything about Jesus. There's, they're not reaching out to this lost and dying world in any way. They just, I guess, uh, get on YouTube to be critical of others, you know. Well, that's not good, you know. We, we need to encourage one another. I had a pastor one time, and uh, that was his theme, was encourage one another. And he was so right. I miss him so much but he often would say encourage one another don't discourage one another <laughs> <laughs> as you can see things don't bother me too much you know uh, you when you make videos uh, uh, for YouTube you you've got to have a thick skin but uh, but it's it's all good we have we have the right to agree or disagree, and that's that's okay. That's fine. I love you anyway. I love you guys. I, and most all of you, you agree with me. I know a hundred percent, and I I appreciate you all so much. I so look forward to seeing you on that wonderful day that we fly out of here. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. Well, you know that it's that time of the week, that time of the video again, that. Uh, I I like to give you folks a hug and uh, and pray for you folks because I know it's not easy. This life isn't easy. Uh, sadly, many times it's very difficult. But always know and always remember that Jesus is with you. He's with you. Did I tell you I lost a little bit of weight? That's totally off the subject. <laughs> I lost about 10 pounds. I feel good about that. I've never felt better. Although I get on the scales and every time I weigh myself is different. This morning I was, I was one, what was I, 185. I'm thinking, uh, I wish that was right, but I'll try it again. And uh, then I was, uh, I checked again. I was, I think I was 193, something like that. Oh, uh, that's, something's not quite right. I'll try it again. I'll try it one more time. I checked again, and I was 170. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. I, I, I just gotta... I can't help it, folks. Anyway. <laughs> Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord, I, I just come to you right now, and I pray that you would touch each and every one out there. Every single person that's listening and uh, watching my video, oh Lord, we're just, we're very anxious for your return. We can't wait for you to come, but we know that God the Father is the only one that knows that time. And we're just going to continue to wait patiently for that time. But Lord, for those, there are many out there that uh, they're having a very, very difficult time, especially over over the Christmas season, over holidays, they especially have a very hard time because there's a, a place at their table that's empty. Oh Lord, I pray especially for those that um, those that are having a very difficult time over the holidays because of the loss of a loved one. Oh Lord, I pray that you would comfort each one and help them to just always remember that it's temporary, it won't last forever. That uh, the feeling of loss that they have, it, it's, it, it just won't last forever. It won't be much longer now. 
and they will be with their loved one again. And it will be forever. It will be permanent. Never, ever to end. But Lord, until then, I just pray that you would help each one to cope and to just keep hanging on to your nail-scarred hand. Lord, I know that you love them so much and that you are very concerned about each and every one. And uh, Lord, you see every single person that's watching my video right now around the world. And even those that aren't watching, it's not about me, it's about all about you, Lord Jesus. You know each and every one that's trusting in you, but uh, they feel so alone. You know, you see exactly, that you see the rocking chair that, that there's a lady that's watching my video right now. You see them sitting in their rocking chair somewhere around the world, and you, you are right there and you can see. You see the heartache, you see all the trouble that they've had in their life, and, you, and you, you just want them to know that you are with them and that everything is going to be alright. Just keep trusting in you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a man. I, for some reason, I'm thinking a mechanic that's working on something. Maybe you're working on something right now, or have been. You stop for a few minutes to watch this video, and uh, you uh, you try to keep busy because uh, the busyness uh, it helps it, so that you don't think about things that are so troubling in your life. You uh, you putter away at at something, uh, whether it's uh, automotive, or whether it's that, or woodworking, or whatever. But there's things that are that have been so troubling, and it just helps to keep busy. Well, Jesus, He knows. He's right there with you. He's never left your side. Lord, I thank you so much, Lord, for ministering to each and every one. Lord, to you certainly be all of the glory and all of the praise. All I am is just a man that's trying to do your will, Lord, and I care and love everybody out there. Uh, thanks to you, Lord Jesus. You are the reason why I'm, I am the way that I am, and the reason why I'm doing these videos is because I love you so much, and you've placed a love in my heart for these people that are watching. Lord, I just pray that you would help each and every one to be steadfast, to keep holding on, just keep holding on to you until until you come on that wonderful day and when you come in the sky and take us home. Thank you so much, Lord, for hearing and answering prayer. Thank you so much. Well, I see my gloves almost falling off the back of the camera, so... <laughs> but it has helped. Uh, the battery life is... Uh, it, it stayed up pretty good so that's an idea for some of you youtubers if you happen to be watching me if you go outside and it's cold make sure you put a glove or a sock or something on the back of that camera <laughs> oh praise god anyway you know i love each and every one of you and uh, you all take care and bye for now hello forever i want to say <laughs> I will someday, but for now, bye for now, folks.